Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and merciful, I welcome you all in the course of leadership, emotional intelligence, and decision making. This course would be covering the concept of leadership, and afterwards we'll be talking about emotional intelligence in association with leadership. Along with that, we'll be talking about the decision making aspects that how the leaders who are emotionally intelligent are going to decide in different organizational perspectives. This is our first module. And in the first module, we're going to talk about introduction and basic concepts of leadership theory and practice. When we talk about leadership theory and practice, remember that leaders are from among us. This is a very important concept. That leader hum usi ko tasavvur karte hain jo hum mein se hai, jo hamare halat aur waqiyat ko janta hai, jo hamare gird o nawaq ko janta hai, jo hamari zaruraton ko janta hai. So leaders are actually those who are among us, who have actually experienced the same way of life, the same patterns of life, the same challenges of life which their followers are actually facing. The importance and significance of leadership is our next concept. And in this particular concept, we're going to talk about that leaders exist to achieve actually organizational performance. Remember, dear students, when we talk about performance in terms of organizational context, we are talking about productivity, profitability, and satisfaction of the stakeholders. So leaders are responsible to meet these objectives. Leaders are responsible to attain these target requirements. The second aspect is individual effectiveness, that leaders are there to make the things right. Leaders are there to decide upon that which things are in benefit and which things are harmful related to the organizational facility. So the effectiveness is the basic concern which is brought in by the leader. The third main concern is work-related attitude and behavior development, that leaders are there to develop the behaviors, leaders are there to develop the work-related attitudes so that the followers can know that how they can overcome the problems associated with organizational facility how the followers are going to achieve their targets and objectives, how the followers are going to achieve their key performance indicators. So leaders are there basically to motivate the employees, motivate the followers. And through that, it is evident that leaders are there to achieve organizational performance. Now we're going to talk about certain leadership challenges. And we, when we talk about leadership challenges, there are two aspects. One are the subjective aspects, another can be the objective aspects. When we think in terms of subjective aspects, the subjective assessment, the leader faces the challenge of developing the right behavior, the behavior which is required by the organization. The leader is there to typically develop the style of the followers, the style which is required by the organization, which is required by the stakeholders, which is there to achieve organizational goals and objectives. And the third subjective assessment in terms of leadership challenges is basically development of the competencies, the proficiencies, the skill set which the followers might be requiring with a due course of time. In addition to that, when we think in terms of objective assessment, obviously objectives would be defined in terms of strategic aspects, financial aspects, and operational aspects. So in case of strategic aspects, no doubt we can say that organization is planning to achieve a certain milestone, a milestone in which they are going to achieve certain industry benchmarks and positioning. When we talk about financial aspects, obviously we are concerned with the revenues and the sales, the money terms. And when we talk about operational aspects, no doubt leader is there to increase the productivity of the organization, the operational competency. So leadership is basically going to face subjective assessments and objective assessments. And the right leader, the authentic leader would be the person who can make the things happen. Now, when we talk about leadership concerns, remember one thing, that leaders actually influence others. They help achieve others to attain their common goals, to achieve their common goals. And the leadership is basically there to develop them, to foster them, to increase and enhance their competencies and proficiencies. And at the same time, 
the leaders are facing so many pressures. The pressures coming from the social aspects, the pressures coming from technological aspects, the pressures coming from economic, political, and ecological aspects. So the leaders are there to face the pressures, to face the challenges, and at the same time, they are there to motivate the followers. Now, the followers' ki responsibility is कि वो अपने आप को भी अपडेट और अपग्रेड करें ताकि लीडर के बताए हुए असूलों के मुताबिक वो अपनी जिंदगी को बसर कर सकें ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को सपोर्ट एंड हेल्प कर सकें टू अचीव द परफॉर्मेंस रिक्वायरमेंट्स इफ वी कंक्लूड द होल डिस्कशन इन द फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल इट इज सेड द लीडर्स आर बेसिकली देयर टू अचीव ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल ऑब्जेक्टिव्स दे इन्फ्लुएंस अदर्स टू अचीव कॉमन गोल और वो कॉमन गोल इज एक्चुअली शेयर्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के जो गोल्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव्स हैं वही इंप्लॉज के गोल्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव्स में ट्रांसलेट होते हैं बट एट द सेम टाइम रिमेंबर दैट लीडर्स आर फेसिंग सो मेनी प्रेशर्स द प्रेशर्स कमिंग फ्रॉम सोशल एस्पेक्ट्स टेक्नोलॉजिकल एस्पेक्ट्स इकोनॉमिक एस्पेक्ट्स एंड पोलिटिकल एंड इकोलॉजिकल एस्पेक्ट्स सो द चैलेंजेस एंड द प्रेशर्स आर फेस्ड बाई द लीडर और फिर वो कोशिश ये करता है कि अपने फॉलोअर्स तक उन प्रेशर्स को ना पहुँचने दे उनको एक सही राह का तयन करने में मदद दे so if we conclude the whole discussion remember that leaders are there to help you to foster you to develop you and it is the responsibility of the followers ke wo leader ko leader ko sahi maayne mein follow kare taaki organization ke jo goals and objectives hain wo achieve ho sake thank you